see this beauty. Come on, baby. Look at this fish. That is a beaut. And that's probably 17 inches. Wow. Ready? Do a little, do a little revive in here. Oh, 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 that was so great. Hey, thanks for joining me today. Man, I love the fall colors in the Cascade Mountains. There's just nothing better. Love this time of year. I'm fishing a freestone river out of the Cascade Mountains here this fall. I'm gonna be targeting the native West Slope cutthroat and wild rainbow. There's also whitefish in here and bull trout, but those are protected. Let's do this. I can't wait to fish, fish on. So today I'm fishing my Sage TCR four piece four weight. I've got a dropper on, just a little pheasant tail nymph. And that is tied on to a pretty sizable hopper pattern, which uh, which I hope will be the ticket today. So got a great little seam right here, right in this little tail water by the log and uh, see if we can pick up the fish. All right, let's do this, fish on. Man, this little spot's looking good. Let's see if, uh, see if she's holding the fish. Oh, gotta love the first cast. Oh yeah, it's like a little cutthroat. Oh man, yeah, it's a nice little west slope. Beautiful fish. It's got a little, it's a little tangled up in my, uh, in my dropper setup. Sorry about that, buddy. Let's uh, fix that for you. Oh, look at that guy. Beautiful fish. Wow. Wow. Oh, self-released. That makes it easy. Jeez, what a great way to start out. Well, after that fish um, and seeing some others rise, I decided to take the uh, dropper off. So I'm just fishing the hopper. He made a pretty big mess of my hopper. But yeah, gotta love the first cast fish. It's just took a natural right over here. Oh. Across the river just to kind of get a better angle at this nice little tail out here. Oh. Fish come up and bump it. Oh, that was a good fish. Oh, another good fish. All right, so I had some fish swipe at the big dry, but it's kind of like one and done. So I tied the, uh, the dropper back on. So I've got that little pheasant tail back on. Looks like I already got a takedown. You're gonna be good to give them a second option here. Oh. oh, missed about six fish, geez. There we go. Oh, right on the swing. A nice big white fish. Nice, nice little fat white fish. Yeah, that's easy. Self-release. Oh. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure how many more times he was gonna give me. 
attached to a little trout. Oh yeah, it's a wild rainbow. Oh, check this out. Oh, wild rainbow, that is beautiful. All right, buddy. Thank you very much. Nice. Man, these fish are hungry. So fun. There we go. <sighs> So we got a white fish. Nice. That's a big fatty. Big fat white fish. Oh. Nice little white fish. Oh, self released. Man, there's a ton of fish in here. Whew. It's like I can fish this little hole all day long. There we go, fish on. Oh, oh, oh. oh, long release. Wow, I wore this spot out. God, I must have, uh, I think I landed five fish and probably had 20 take a swipe at it, but I missed. But I'm gonna head down river. There's a creek that runs into, uh, into this little uh, section of the river and it just looks really good. So I'm gonna head down there and try that. Let's do this, fish on. Well, we're at that creek that runs into the main channel of the river that tailwater looks really good all right let's see if uh see if there's anybody wants to eat oh there we go <sighs> kind of felt like i was standing in some good water Come on, baby. Wow, wait till you see this beauty. Come on, baby. Look at this fish. Oh, oh, that is a nice fish. Wow. Oh, back in the water. Do a little revive in here. Oh, that was so great. Jeez, that is so crazy. These fish are taking it on the swing. Everything all tangled up. Look at that nice little, beautiful little west slip. Thank you very much. And thank you for tangling the crap out of my gear. You know, I love fishing these hopper droppers, but sometimes when you get a cutthroat, this is what they do to it. So <laughs> that's the only drawback of fishing the uh, hopper dropper setup. Pretty messy. So I've been working on a new casting technique. It's a spade cast, but using a fly rod. And what you end up, what you do is you kind of throw the line upstream, make kind of a jelly roll loop, and then throw it back out in front. Let me show you what that looks like. So you bring the line upstream make a loop and then throw it out front and it works really well i just cast probably 35 feet and had no back cast at all here's a fly fishing tip when you cast a lot it's probably a good idea especially with a four weight uh, to check to make sure your ferrules are still where they're supposed to be because that could have been a disaster that happened on a fish. Back in action. Oh, this is a big fish. Oh my gosh. Come on, baby. Stay on. Oh, he has beautiful red on him. When he came up and grabbed it, I could see his cheek and it was just gorgeous. Oh, 
Oh, barbless hooks. You just never know what's gonna happen. Boy, the water's really skinny over there too. He is a lunker. Come on, baby. Oh yeah, that's a beaut. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, I don't feel like he's ready. Oh, he's a beautiful fish. Oh my God. Come on. Come on. Oh, holy, holy crap. Come on, baby. Get in the net. Oh, come on, baby. Get in the net. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Oh, holy crap. Look at that fish. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. oh wow. That is a gorgeous west slope. Oh, my God. Look at this guy. That's all of 18 or 19 inches. Wow. What a gorgeous fish. Look at him. What a gorgeous west slope. That was a surprise. The fish in here are supposed to be anywhere between 10 and 16 inches. And that's a, that's a rare trout right there. Something that was 18, 19 inches. I mean, what a beautiful west slope. Well, I've only got a few more hours left to light. So I moved down river a little bit to try this spot right up here against the cliff. I have to give a shout out to one of my subscribers with the initials DG, you know who you are. I just want to thank you for suggesting this fishery because it is amazing and I've lived here my entire life and I cannot believe that I've passed by this river countless number of times and never realized what amazing fishery it is. So thanks, appreciate it and, uh, and I'm sorry I, I have to keep it secret. All right, let's do this. Let's go fishing. Fish on. There we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Knew there had to have been something in these rapids. Nice little cutty. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, it's a nice little rainbow. So the cool thing about this is this thing is wild. Pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. All right, buddy. Thank you. Awesome. All right, my fellow fly fishers, that wraps up uh, this trip. What an amazing fishery. I'm so happy that I gave this a try. Thanks again, DG. It's amazing what happens, too. The weather changed real quick. You can see it got really cloudy. The wind came up. The temperature dropped, and the fish just shut off. So I'm going to pack it up and head home, maybe grab a burger on the way there. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Fish on.